Good morning. Today is Thursday, January 19, 2017. I'm speaking with Dr. Shankar Raichudhuri. This interview is being conducted in, in Kolkata, India. Uh, Mr. Raichudhuri, what's your desh? Desh. Desh. Desh is uh, Ulpur. Ulpur? Yeah. What district? Uh, yeah. What district? Sorry? District? District, Faridpur. Faridpur. And in now Bangladesh? Yeah, now right? Bangladesh. Okay. So, um, so tell me, um, how was the village like? Do you remember? How was the village? Village to come on Shiva. The village was, uh, to me, it is very nice. So, so far I remember now. Mm -hmm. It is very nice. Okay. Uh, the entire village was for the, our Raichudri family. Okay. And uh, in... Uh, there was one high school mm -hmm. and one primary school okay. and uh, some cultural activities were held at that time okay. and many renowned people now mm -hmm. was born in our family. Okay. Uh, they were, some of them were the, the patriots, they okay. joined in the Quit India movement okay. also okay. and uh, some very much learned mm. people were mm. there, mm. Mm. highly qualified yes, people were there. Very, very yes. So, and uh, was it a mixed village or mostly Hindu village? Sorry. Was it a mixed village or mostly Hindu village? No, it is was entirely, almost entirely for uh, Hindu village. Raichudri family. Yeah, Raichudri family, and okay. some some of the, uh, the, the our uh, helpers. That helpers. means the 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 who served us okay, yes, in different ways. Different, yeah, worked yes, in the field, yes. worked in the at home yeah. and others. So, um, how was your building like? Sorry? Bu building. The building, building you lived in? Our building was a, a, a brick built building. Brick, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then how many story? One story, two story, three story? Our house was one story. Oh, one story. Yeah. And who lived there? Sorry? Who lived there? The, our family. My parents and my brothers and sisters. How many brothers and sisters? Uh, we were uh, four brothers and three sisters. Okay. And and what's the name of your parents? Name of your parents, Mama and Nam? Uh, parents' name is uh, Satish Chandra Rai Chaudhuri, my okay. father. Okay. And mother is Ami Obala Rai Chaudhuri. Okay. And what was their profession? Profession, actually, my father served in different uh, British farms. Okay, British and, companies. Yes, and after retirement he uh, came to Ulpur <laughs> and there he just taught but, some students in okay, home. But that's a retirement. Yeah, retirement. after retirement. And you, your mother? My mother was just a housewife. Okay. housewife. So, so did you go to school there? Uh, just oh, class okay. one. <laughs> okay, how did you used to go? Sorry. How did you used to go? Come on, go to Jeten school. That school was uh, mainly, it is it is surprising for me also that, that when I studied, it was meant for the girls. Oh. But I was only the boy student. Oh, I don't I know. I asked them, <laughs> but they also could not know why I was admitted. Okay. Yeah, but did you, you to, did you used to walk there? Somebody used to take you or used to take a boat? Come on, Kore Jeten. Sorry? Come on, Kore Jeten. How did you used to go to school? Uh, in Kolkata, I was, no, I no, studied. No, 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 no. Back in Ulpur. In Ulpur? Jeten. How did you used to go to school? That is a primary school. No, no. Yeah. How, how did you go? Ki kore walking, jete? walking. Just walking. Okay. How yeah. far yeah. was It is very close to our house. Oh, how, how, okay. This is not that far? Not far. Far, okay. So as you're growing up, so it's a girls' school, most of the girls were Hindu or Muslim or both? Uh, in that school, uh, no Muslim students. No. Okay. There. No. All right. So as you're growing up, um, so, so you said, after some years, they came to India. Yeah. When did you come to India? And 40, 47. 47. Yeah. Why? Do you know why your parents... It's because came? at that moment, yeah. I was in Delhi with my mother. Okay. Because in Delhi, my elder sister okay. and elder brother was living there. Okay. And uh, my, my mother told me that uh, I have received a letter from your father. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that? Dash uh, Bhagui Agassi. Oh, this has been partitioned. Okay, I guess. So, we cannot live there. Oh. We cannot live there. So, we will come back. You just 
um, uh, come to Calcutta. Okay. And I will be waiting in Sialda station. Really? That was my father's information. And we, my, means I, m myself and my mother came to Sialda mm -hmm. and some of our relatives escorted us in a slum in Khidirpur. Okay. Just a slum. Okay. And there I passed in the childhood. Okay. And you grew up in Khidirpur? Yeah, Khidirpur. Khidirpur. What happened to your ba father? Baba Kiholo. What happened to the father? Father? Kiholo. What happened to the father? Father uh, was... Uh, but uh, ultimately, father joined in a, pri in a primary school. He was teaching there. In, in, in Ulpur? No, the, in Calcutta. So he came in 47 itself? Yeah. So what happened to your house? And the house was left. And left empty? Left means left empty. There was nobody. Okay. But uh, there were some relatives okay. in their house. There was relatives and others. Okay. But our house was completely empty. They, and they locked it and left? They put a lock and left? Uh, yeah, we locked and came. And did, did he go back? Did no, your parents go no, back? No, I went in, uh, I remember in 1953 once I went there, mm -hmm. but there was no house of us. And Why? I don't know. I asked the, uh, my friends, some my friends were living there. Right, yeah. They said, oh, the Muslims has broken it and took away the windows and the doors and oh. etc. and bricks etc. Et so the, even the building was gone? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even the brick and concrete building? Yes, yes concrete building was completely vanished. Nothing was there. My gosh. And, and so your neighbors told that the... So where did you stay when you go there? I stayed in uh, some relative's house, so just really? opposite to our house. And But the relatives couldn't resist that they were destroying the building? They, did, they, couldn't, they couldn't resist? No, no, they couldn't tell what, what happened. No, no, right. Yeah. But, but as they were breaking it down, they couldn't save it. Yeah, they couldn't they save could it. Say. Okay, so so, uh, how did you survive in Khidirpur? In Khidirpur? Yes. How did you survive? Uh, from Shialda station, I went directly to Khidirpur in okay. Islam. Okay. We lived there. Okay. And, and who, I, who, who supported you? Who paid money? Or, or how did you survive? Uh, actually, so far I remember uh, our the tax collector mm -hmm. of the property. Mm -hmm. Its name was Kibishash. Some Mr. Some, Biswas. Some Biswas. Uh, my collector. Okay. He came to our house some, uh, for several times. And, Kiritpur uh, house? Yeah, in Kiritpur, Baslam. Okay. And asked my father, to come back and sell your property and uh, you will get much money. Mm -hmm. But actually, my father was not interested in that. He said, "Oh, what has I have lost? I have lost. Really? I shall not go there anymore." Really, that that bad. Yeah. So, never. My father never uh, thought of going back or selling the property. But how come? Because we have lived there for generations. So all of a sudden, he yes. just gives up on it. Yeah. Okay. And and um, did he share his feelings ever? Did he tell you why did he feel that way? Why? Why did he feel that way? I don't know. Okay, all okay. right. That's fine. Um, so, so, but you you have not seen, you just came to Kolkata and your father, but father was not harmed. He was not injured. He was not harmed during during coming to India. Yeah. He was physically, he was fine. Yeah, physically. physically. He was not harmed. Okay. Uh, so, you, how did you survive in India? Sorry? How did you survive in India? Kamun Kore Bachelain, India. Where? In Khidirpur. In Khidirpur. Yeah. Khidirpur, my, my father uh, was teaching some students okay. and joined in a primary school. Okay. That was our source of income. Okay. And sometimes my elder brother mm -hmm. from Delhi mm -hmm. sent money. Okay. Yes. But did he, did you, do you know if he got any compensation for losing his property? Sorry? Did he get any compensation from India government? No, no, no. No. Uh, I applied for compensation to the, uh, there was one enemy property mm -hmm. uh, organized by, settled by the uh, government of India. Yeah. I applied there. Yeah. But they offered me very small money. Very small. Like? Uh, it is not even 10,000. Okay. So I refused to take it. Okay. I'd better need to take it. Okay, yeah, okay. 
Um, so tell us a little bit about the slum in Khidirpur. How was it? How, how, how difficult was it? Or easy was it? Was it was very, very poor area. Very, very. Okay, how many rooms? Uh, the slums was made of mud. Mm -hmm. And on the tube it was uh, the tali. Mm -hmm. Tile? Yes. And uh, on the floor was uh, concrete. Concrete, okay. Yes. How many rooms? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five in five, uh, of, the, of the five houses, one room was occupied by the landlady. Okay. She was an old lady. Okay. And we stayed in another, another room. That means just this type of room. There we lived, me, my parents, and my two brothers and one sister. So five of you living in one room? Yeah, one room. Okay. Yes. And where, where, where was this specific space for cooking? Cooking? Oh, yeah, cooking is just in the... Corridor, no, a small no. corridor was covered, okay. and it was. And what about the ba bath? Was it a com shared bathroom? Yes, oh, it's common bathroom. Okay. Yes. Okay, very, very nice. All right. So, um, tell us, tell us a little bit about your memories of your village. My memory is uh, very clear. I, I always see when I think that when I wrote that book. Mm -hmm. I remember everything, mm -hmm. though I left very in early yeah, age, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I still remember everything. Yes, yes, yes. Very it's much. possible. It's not. So tell us some, some nice story, nice memory yeah, that yeah. you have. Tell yeah. us, tell yeah. us at least one. Uh, nice memory. Yeah. Nice memory. One incident or one event. Uh, it was a. Uh, Durga Puja festival. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we passed him. Uh, I passed with my friends, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I can I remember one uh, one incident that was not very very good. Mm -hmm. That is in at the time of Durga Puja, the one boat was sunk, oh, uh, and nine. nine of our family. No, not of our family. Dad. Extended family. Yeah, yeah. And I, 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 know, I remember in one of our family house, there was a dacoity. Mm. The dacoits entered the house and took away all the mm. ornaments and mm. yes. Oh. That I remember. I was very. But yeah, yeah, these things say. So, um, so do you. Re have you ever thought what would have happened to you if you forced yourself to stay? What happened? If what could have happened to you if you stayed back in Ulpur? What would have happened? Could have. Could uh, have. I could not come to this position. It okay. is clear. Okay. If I would stay there, it was not possible for me to be in the position where I am okay. now. So tell us, because we tell us a little bit about your position because I know you have traveled around the world, you have traveled to many poles and all those. Maybe you tell a very short, two lines, three lines, or tell us about yourself. My? Yourself, your position. That means what have you achieved? Yeah, I studied in the 